How you guys doing today? Doing another video for you guys. Something that might be useful to the people that have Steam Deck and they running Windows on it. So you want to try to mirror your Steam Deck and since Parsec don't work with the Steam Deck uh, and Windows is not really being up optimized as much um, through Steam OS and all that stuff like that, I found a way where you can mirror your Steam Deck finally, which it might not be a surprise to people, but it's something I've finally found out how to do and I'm just sharing with you guys so i'm gonna try to make the video short what i have here is my tablet over on to the side as you can see it's sitting over there so you do what is called space desk it can be used on android phone stuff like that and so we're going to put the space desk on the android tablet and uh we're going to go from there and then i'm going to show you how to set it up so you go to your google you're going to type in space desk which i already typed it in and it's going to be this first one right here five million views and we're going to install space desk it's a pretty easy setup all right so while that installing you got to come to your steam deck to your browser space desk hmm. it's the keyboard and you be charged up but oh well i'll do that later space desk you gotta come to this here download then you got to come to Space Desk, and you got to also download it for your Windows. So you'll hit download, when you download it, you'll come to your download folder, and then extract it like normal, like all other stuff, and then you go from there. Once you have it set up, you should see an icon down here saying Space Desk Driver, and it's going to basically be a driver that just runs in your background, it's, you know, for that. So we're going to go open Space Desk over here. It says, you know, the Android app connects to Windows driver. You can download Space Desk on, you know, for the Windows and blah, blah, blah. We already did it. And then, as you can see, I see Steam Deck Windows. So, I'm click on it. And boom. Now, as you see, you see my other background from what well, my previous background because it's mirrored. Now, I can use it as a secondary screen if I want to. I don't have to use my main screen or I can go on my settings and uh, let's see, display. This will be the third display. Let me change it. Uh, we're right back. We're gonna keep the port landscape. Uh, let's see, 1280 uh, Okay, that's a little bit better. Let's keep them changes on there. And so now you can see it's bigger. I wanna it say extend, but I kinda wanna duplicate this top one on. Uh, let's try to keep changes. Landscape. Two and three, actually. Yeah. But I actually need to turn one back off. I don't know why I got one back on. That's my steam deck. That's all right. I just told Three needs to duplicate two and three. There we go. There we go. There we go. Two changes. Uh, two and three. Keep, even though, and I see so you can just play around with this stuff like that, and that you know it's not something you have to do. I'm just gonna go back to uh, extend two on three. Yeah, I'll keep it. Two is gonna stay as twelve five one. Eight. Uh, I don't need to disconnect the display. I'll just leave it on for now. I'll deal with that a little later. I guess I'm going to go back to this 1280 so I can have that right. Alright, and then let's see. Two is my 
make the main display. Uh, remember when display minimize detect connect wireless display. I forgot how to turn this one back off because I need to turn the Steam Deck monitor back off, but I will deal with that at another time. But that, that's just, you just have to play around with your settings. As you can see, you can play around. You can duplicate it, but you know, if you don't want to duplicate, you can leave it as a side thing. So I'll I mess with that one later. Uh, I'm trying to make the video as short as possible, but I, I come back. But as you can see, I can go on to. I got. I actually got two displays. Let's see. Yep, I can do the Steam Deck now. Alright, so let's try to run a game real quick. I can't tell which way I gotta go with the mouse. Okay. Alright, so let's just try to run the game so we don't make the video much longer. And I'll go back and fix all my other stuff a little later. Uh, let's do. Oh, PS1 game, maybe. Let's just play a PS1 game. Let's see. Grand Turismo. So I can move this over to them. See how it is now. No, just bring it back. As you can see, now I got my Android working. Yeah, let's see if I can get y'all a little picture. Put it on easy just so I can be able to see for here. So I'm sitting back far enough. So, but as you can see, my Android device is mirroring my Steam Deck. Now, I gotta go back and play with my settings to get my stuff back to where it was, but I deal with that in my own time. I just wanna make this no longer than a 10 minute video showing that it does, man. No latency, no lag, none of that. Mm. And the drove and Grand Turismo so long, forgot. And then sitting back too far away from the screen. Shoes. You can see no issues at all whatsoever. Now, so I'm going to exit out the game and call that it. But there you go. No lazy, no issues. Space this. Download it, put it on your Android, you can play it on your phone, you can play it on anything they can download that has Android-based systems. I was waiting to make this video on my um, Absolute device, but because the delays on that device that came out, we had to delay, you know, the time on that. So, but there you have it. That is how you marry your Steam Deck from Windows onto Android-based devices. And, um... Now you're able to, you know, you can lay your Steam Deck, leave it in the dock, get on your phone, space this, move this way. I mean, of course, you can move the stuff over from the uh, Steam Deck over first, and but you, you can do whatever, how you want to do it. But that's at least now you have a way to mirror your Steam Deck. So if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, like the video, share with your friends, and uh, 
Until the next video, you guys, I'll see you later. I hope you have a good day. Peace.